Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Bible says, according to Luke 12, verses 22 to 24, it says, Then he said to his disciples, Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, nor about the body, what you will put on. Life is more than food, and the body is more than clothing. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which have neither storehouse nor barn, and God feeds them. And how How much more value are you than the birds? Hallelujah. We all have reasons to worry in this life. And this world's economic engines have not been cranking out enough jobs as we can see in many nations. We see things are are improving in some counts, but we still see people worry. Many family homes are near the point of even foreclosure or even bankruptcy and prices are rising or the basic food needs and food clothing and transportation and all sorts of things are changing. And sadly, most of the evening news is often just more bad news about the economy or about certain things that is going to attack or affect you in the future. So where can we turn today for hope, precious saints? The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the hope of all nations. We turn to Jesus because there's nothing better than Jesus who knows the future and every detail of our lives. Jesus' disciples were concerned about the same things that we also worry about today. So he addressed the one thing that was running their lives and that was worry. We know according to Philippians 4, 6 and 7 it says, be anxious for nothing. Be worrisome for nothing, but in all things through prayer with supplication, let your requests be made known to God that peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. They worried about where their next meal would come from. They worried about having decent clothing to wear. They worried about their future. They worried about the jobs that they just dropped and left. They worried about their businesses that they just picked up and left and followed Jesus Christ. But worry doesn't gain us anything, says Jesus. Instead, it distracts us from the one who knows what we need and when we need it. We are called to trust in him, knowing that our Father will meet our needs in his good timing. Do you believe the God of heaven and earth will take care of you today? Therefore, practice living a life that is not based on possessions, wealth or money, but challenge yourselves to live as one whose treasure is the Saviour, Jesus Christ. Our hope must be in Him forever who knows your need even before you ask him. Hallelujah. He has a plan for you and he wants to provide for you. But do you trust in him today? Heavenly Father, I thank you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We believe that you will take care of all the needs according to your perfect plan and will. And that we will practice also a life of generosity to those around us that are also in need. Heavenly Father, we thank you that sometimes the way ahead seems so clear, but at other times the the way seems shrouded with uncertainty and the road ahead seems to be hidden in the questioning shadows. We want to be in your perfect will, Lord, and we pray that your will be done in every area and aspect of our lives. Lord, we long to have your assurance that this is the way to walk, but at times... Your will seems to be hidden by a cloud of uncertainty and swamped by a foggy mist of unknowing. But Lord, we thank you that as we step out into the future, Lord, we place our trust in you. For we are sure, Lord, that you read the thoughts of our hearts and you know the desires is to remain in the center of your perfect will today. Lead us, Lord, on the right path that is best for us. And we pray. Lord, for a place to trust in you, for you have promised to be with us wherever we go. 
And for you know the steps that we take, keep us safe. And we pray, Lord, today that we may trust you more. Lord, loving Lord, you are our confidence and our blessed assurance. You are the rock of our salvation. You are the strength of our life. Our hope rests in you, for you are our faithful shepherd. And the song that rejoices in our heart. Jesus, we are often tossed on the restless seas of worry and doubt, but give us your blessed assurance that we have a place in your kingdom now and forever. Thank you that your promises are sure and they are yes and amen and that your grace is sufficient for all of our needs. Thank you that your mercies are new every morning for you are faithful, O God. How great is thy faithfulness. Thank you that you are our Heavenly Father who loves us and cares for us. And thank you that you are our precious Saviour who died for us and gives us new life. And thank you for the holy comfort of the Holy Spirit who gently leads us onto paths of righteousness and guides us into all truth. Loving Lord, we lay our life before you and we trust in you today and we pray in all things that you would continue and to keep and to care and to guard and to guide us and to support and to strengthen in every avenue in our life. Heavenly Father, I pray for each person. Lord, where the spirit of infirmity has come and affected any of their bodies today, I command that spirit of infirmity I address you right now. I command you in the name of Jesus, come out of that body and back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command right now, you would release your ministering angels to surround those people that need ministering to right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you will pour out your healing anointing upon each person, Lord, that needs to recover. Those are in hospital. Those are in in the sick bed. Lord, you will come and visit them for your word will be like medicine to their souls today lord i pray for those that are oppressed lord those that are anxious those that are depressed lord those that need deliverance those that are tormented today lord those that are tormented in their dreams those that are tormented lord by a setback spirit today i command in the name of jesus you will loosen your hold over god's saints today in the name of jesus i declare today they will arise and shine and move in to a new direction that God has for them. Devil, you would release your hold over them today in the name of Jesus because the anointing is here to break every yoke of bondage, every chain, every shackle is being broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare all sickness gone today in the name of Jesus. I declare all depression, anxiety and every health disorder gone in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare today they will arise and shine and move into their destinies. Lord, I declare today, this weekend shall be a new weekend for them, that they shall be renewed and refreshed. Lord, and revive today in the name of Jesus. Touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet today. We declare your good news, Lord, upon those people. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would be upon each person's lips, their hearts, their eyes, their ears today. Lord, that they may see you, they may hear you, that they may know you and talk of you also. Lord, we declare your blessings upon each person. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. And I just have a word for someone today. There is someone that is struggling with a particular issue. And God is saying he's going to enable you to overcome. In actual fact, it has to do with sexual sin. But God is saying that he's going to deliver you. Keep pressing in. Keep pressing in in this hour. Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, that Lord, that you will come right now and give grace to those that are listening right now to overcome in all areas. Because you said that you'd make a way of escape for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray for deliverance to come within that area right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone that has pain on the left side of your body right now. I just want to declare healing over your body right now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Healing over your body. Healing over your body right now. Healing over your body right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone that is worried about their future rent. Yes, you don't know how you're going to pay this rent. Lord, I pray right now, Lord, that you would locate. Lord, you would bring about a supernatural 
supernatural provision, either through divine helpers or Lord's supernatural transfer of wealth to come to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Or also grace with the landlord also in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I declare it right now upon that person that is worried and concerned about that right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray and I thank you for the open doors that are going to come. There will be magnificent doors that are going to open before you. All you need to do is just claim it and believe it and you'll start to see the work of the Lord. You step out in faith in different areas. If it's employment, you start to apply for jobs and watch the Lord do his thing. If it's praying for a spouse, just surrender that to the Lord and keep focusing on him. Keep glowing for the Lord and you'll start to see God also start to move in miraculous ways also. So I just encourage you today for those that have written down all their prayer uh, requests in that list within your Bible, allow God to see it through. Allow God to see it through within his timing because with God, all things are possible. Hallelujah. So Lord, I thank you for each person. So I encourage you, connect into the ministry to be able to be part of those and see the Lord change your prayer life. See your spirituality grow and go deeper in God for God has great things planned for you precious saints so lord touch them in jesus mighty name we pray amen this is pastor robert clancy it is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our lord jesus christ shalom 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 and if you've liked this utterance today we encourage you subscribe to the youtube channel i encourage you forward this to at least seven friends seven people today that need encouragement get them to join in on the fastings also uh, in the name of jesus christ so i just encourage you if you are in south africa precious saints you must come to the last two meetings that will be absolutely awesome 2024 shall be the year of the glory coming where the king of glory shall come in precious saints revival is here revival is here i will be ministering at the mount zion conference center for the 8th and the 9th this friday this saturday precious saints it is time it is time if you are here in south africa do not hesitate but come and participate uh you know as god's gonna do powerful things because it's time for the lord to move within your life revival is coming to the church of jesus christ i just want to encourage you i always want to say that to you always continually reminding you despite of what we see in the natural remember god is always working on the scene concerning your life so from my family to yours god bless you we love you we are praying for you precious saints shalom shalom shalom